Hello and welcome everybody to another edition of Mexico News Network's breaking news business here at the El Dorado Royale Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. I'm Elliot Bullman. Before we start, don't forget to check out all our social media networks, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and catch us live on MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Let's start with the information. Mexico applies for more bio and nanotech patents than the UK, Switzerland and even Russia. Mexico has nearly 100 institutions dedicated to research in the different fields of biotechnology, as well as 7,500 researchers specialized in biology, agriculture and fisheries, food, pharmaceuticals, microbiology, medicine, forestry and health, among others. According to the OECD Innovation Index, Mexico has a strong expertise in nano and biotechnology, with more patent applications than the UK, Switzerland and Russia. The Mexican biotechnology sector is a booming area of opportunity, with more and more companies investing in the sector. In 2016, the sector was worth 336 billion US dollars and is on track to reach 366 billion dollars by 2020. A primary reason why vast international investment is pouring into Mexico is because the country offers significantly lower costs in research and development, in biotechnology, clinical trials, product testing and manufacturing of pharmaceuticals. Mexico's biotechnology industry has great potential for growth because not only does the country offer a biodiversity of ecosystems and species, it also has highly trained human capital and competitive manufacturing costs. One of the segments that German automotive and auto parts manufacturers in Mexico are looking into is the injection of plastics. BMW's owners are working with companies and private sector organizations in San Luis Potosí, Mexico to develop a network of local suppliers before starting operations in the state, says Luis Pedraza, president of the Mexican-German Employers Association. German companies operating in Querétaro and the Bajío regions within the automotive and auto parts segments are interested in the injection of plastics, he affirmed. Injection of plastics is one of the items that have been developed in the region for its application in the automotive industry. In our experience, we've met with several Mexican and German companies that participate in these type of processes, Luis Pedraza said. According to Luis Pedraza, there's scope for a lot more investment in this industry. Companies that are dedicated to these processes have the scope to diversify into other sectors. The trade union is strong, so Bajio suppliers have joined efforts to meet the demand of companies and Tier 1 companies, for example. It's definitely a mix, although it depends on the industry. And we've realized that when they settle in the country, German companies generate an ecosystem around suppliers, but qualified suppliers, he warns. In my view, it's essential that BMW gets to know the Mexican workforce. In that way, they can create a solid working relationship and forge an unbreakable bond. Inocentro is a Mexican company that has put a seal of comfort on commercial aircraft and railway interiors all over the world. Over the last 15 years, Inocentro, a Mexican company specializing in aircraft and railway interiors and other consumer products in the airline industry, has garnered a solid reputation and has put its seal of comfort on several international carriers. The company was founded in 2002 by Corral and Sergio Segura, originally as Volare Engineering in northern Mexico. At that time, it was just a small business seeking to make an incursion into the engineering and aerospace industries. By 2007, Inocentro had built up a client portfolio that included several foreign companies. Today, the firm has 25 international customers located in Singapore, Germany, France and the United States. The company has grown rapidly since 2007 and has diversified not just in the aerospace industry but also in the automotive, bus and high-speed train sectors in the United States and Europe. It was on the strength of this experience that it was awarded a contract by the Mexican airline Aviaxa for the refurbishment of the interiors of 27 of its aircraft and from there on the company began making a name for itself in Mexico. 
It was around this time that a Canadian company approached Innocentro to design an aircraft galley component. So they came up with a standard service cart that weighed a third less than normal carts. In an industry like aerospace, where weight matters, Innocentro's product meets the demands of clients eager to reduce their payloads. The award-winning design competed in Germany and won for two consecutive years, giving the firm international exposure. Innocentro has since ventured beyond the aerospace industry and its client portfolio has tripled since 2011. Components, design, innovation and engineering are the distinguishing features of Innocentro's products. Today, Innocentro is preparing to chart a new route, just like it did 15 years ago. Its business plan looks ahead 5 to 10 years and envisages the company with a stronger presence in the light rail industry in several cities, while continuing to innovate in the area of aircraft interior design. In my view, Innocentro is yet another example of Mexican innovation on a global scale. This was all for today. Thank you for stopping by here at the El Dorado Royale Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. I'm Elliot Bullman. Before we leave, don't forget to check out all our social media networks, Facebook, Twitter and Google+, and catch us live on MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time. <laughs>